I've been working with Dixons for about seven years. One of the reasons that they keep coming back and, and what, uh, what they're after is, is the way that we can bring their pride values from the school into what we do here at Outward Bound. Our values at Dixon City Academy, we talk about pride values. So we are things that are really important to us are purpose, respect, integrity, determination and excellence. And our values match really closely with the Outward Bound values. And so when our students go there, what they're being asked to do by the Outward Bound staff and also supported by our staff, it's very much completely aligned to what we're trying to achieve as a school and what you're trying to achieve um, as an organisation as well. It was hurting my hands, but I still uh, saw determination and I still did it. Tuesday I went on an expedition and um, it was quite difficult, but I still saw determination and excellence and still did it. I was tired at first, so I kept on walking and then we made it to our place. Sir said two minutes and it's half an hour. <laughs> but over here it's really enjoyable, like you can look at that mount you can look at the mountains, all the mountains. You can see the bulls what it We chose Outward Bound because we used to uh, have our own Year 8 residential, which we organised all in-house. One of the problems with that was to sustain such a programme, and to, to sustain such a trip. Uh, it, it took a lot of, of effort, and it took a lot of t uh, training, it took a lot of hidden, uh, hidden costs towards the school. But because we, we're, we're so heavily um, helped, Funded uh, through through Outward Bound, you know, as as a as a charity, we're able to give that experience to students. And one of the great things about Outward Bound is we know that when students go there, that they are getting everything that they need to be really comfortable, be able to uh, take on the challenge, and essentially that they're going to be they're going to be safe and prepared. So I've sort of got a bit more resilience in me now. Because I absolutely hate climbing, I hate heights, but I did it. And I sort of learned that if I just keep going, I might actually like some things. When you go outside, I'm not just seeing road, I'm seeing mountains, valleys, lakes. And it's absolutely, the scenery is gorgeous. When every single time I've climbed the mountain, there's always, it's just gorgeous. And the snow on top of some of them. If you were now to offer me, for the same price, um, the, the residential to happen in summer, um, I can hand, hand on heart say I would still choose winter. You see students truly out of the comfort zone. I know that students in those conditions are going to be safe, they're cared for, they're well equipped, um, and to me, temperature uh, and time of year, it, it's, it's, it's a barrier which, was, which has been removed. What's fantastic about our year eights going to Outward Bound is that they experience a different type of difficulty and challenge that they have to overcome. And it really puts what we're trying to do into a physical context and something that they can see. Yes, you can do it in a classroom, but it's very hard to see um, cognitively what's going on. But the brilliant thing about the Outward Bound week that we send our year eights onto is they can absolutely see it physically, the challenges that they're facing, being able to overcome it and then the confidence they get from being able to say right I found that really difficult climbing up that mountain or, or going up that rope ladder or maybe abseiling down I was really scared but I managed to persevere and do it and that sets them up really well for life um, generally but absolutely within their assessments and everything that they need to do in school but also outside of school too.